So what are you thinking about right now? Look around your world. You're creating your world right now by what you're thinking about and feeling with your heart, with your body, with your mind, what you think about, you bring about. That's not news. So I've had some incredible experiences the last few days. For those of you who know the story of what's been going on for me for very close to 12 years, this shoulder is the normal one, and this one has been not so great looking, right? So the universe brought me to somebody, the most amazing chiropractor on the planet, in my opinion. She knows what's wrong. She's helping me fix it. Not only that, but she's an admin at a chiropractic school, and she has me going there. I went there for the workup that usually takes one and a half hours. I was there getting all kinds of testing and a whole plan made for me. Four hours. I'm out to let all the people come into my world who are assisting me in my healing because you can do it yourself. You definitely can. I haven't yet. And you know what? I think it's really, really important to allow yourself to accept help from others. What I learned with the first brain injury in 96 and with the surgery in 2011, it's not only okay, but it's actually a good thing for you to allow others to assist you in ways, you, even if it's just to come for a visit so you have something to occupy your mind, to bring food to you because you can't cook. How do you feel when you're doing a nice deed for somebody? Feel really good inside, yeah? So allow others to experience that feeling because we live on this planet together. So now I want to jump into the really fun stuff that's been happening the last couple days. Look in your life and see where this kind of cool stuff is happening for you. I had what I found to be a not happy experience with my car, came out after shopping in the store, and my car was damaged. I mean, it was damaged a lot. There's no way the person who hit my car and damaged it didn't know. There were no witnesses. I don't know how long I was in the store. Yada, yada, yada. I have to pay the deductible, right? Well, I took it to the garage to be sure it was safe to drive. And they said, well, yeah, because the bumper was down, which meant the underside was down, which meant they said, if you hit a pothole, the bottom of your car is going to hit it and you're going to have a mess. So I'm knowing I need my car to be safe because I had to wait two weeks to get on the schedule because this is a top-notch garage, right? So everybody takes their cars there. Who knows about them? And while I'm waiting, I go out one morning. And you can't even see the damage, except for the other car's paint. The bumper had lifted itself up into place. Don't ask me how that could have happened. I didn't do it. That's what I know. The universe and those invisible forces I'm always talking about, that's what did it. Oh, here's another example. <laughs> Remember a couple of weeks ago, I did a show with Flora and she's the expert on trees. She knows everything trees. So I do the show. I put it up. I share it. And then I go to my favorite documentary site. It's called Curiosity Stream. And I watch a lot of science there. And there's this whole show about these doctors in Japan whose specialty is plants. And they have all kinds of equipment that you wouldn't know about unless you saw this documentary. And the way plants communicate with each other, there was a plant, you, if you watch a plant that vines, you can watch it growing. You know, take an hour and watch it. 
and you'll see it happen. So it was going up and there was a plant over here and it wouldn't go near there. It started that way and then turned toward the other one. Why? Because this one was infested with aphids. Infested. The plant, the vine knew that and went the other way. There was another plant that was being eaten by larvae from a particular bug. It put out the message, it's being eaten by this particular beetle larvae. And what happens, the message goes out from plant to animals and the animals, it was either birds or insects that eat that larvae, they came, they ate all the bugs. There aren't any accidents in the universe. Everything fits together. Every one, every species, we all fit together. And that's why it's so important to live in this world as one. One energy in it. Now, some other really interesting things that happen. Do you ever get feelings about something? I call them knowings. And then it actually happens in your life that your guides, your angels, the universe guiding you. That's why they're, your guides are giving you guidance. So I don't have any pets right now. And the young woman who is practicing is going to be helping me in the chiropractic school. She has a dog. Well, I didn't know she had a dog. So we're sitting there and she's interviewing me to get, you know, family history, all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, this picture frame that I'm seeing the back of it, right? It just jumps off the desk onto the floor. Nobody touched it. Nobody bumped her desk. It just jumped off. So she comes along, she picks it up. And guess what? It was a picture of her adorable dog. Why am I bringing that up? Because I had a feeling a few, it was, it was a few hours earlier about a dog who wanted to have a friend to play with. It was a really clear feeling. I don't know anybody with dogs, right? There it was. She picks it up. And I said to her, your dog's trying to tell you that he's really happy right now. And she said, yeah, I think he is because I have a good friend visiting who comes with his dog, which means my dog has a friend to play with. There was no accident that I had those thoughts. I hadn't even met her. I sure as heck didn't know. That was a photo of her dog with its back to me that jumped off so that we could get a clear message. And I told her that I don't think, I don't know if she thought I was nuts because I said a lot of things that she had never heard before. Anyway, I like to open your mind to other ways of looking at what's going on in your life, in your world. There are no accidents, none. And if you're having a feeling, I used to get horrible feelings when I knew something really bad was going to happen to a person's father. It was really bad. And I asked the universe to please stop doing that because I didn't want to know about bad things that were going to happen in somebody else's life. And it stopped. But I continue to get feelings about things, knowings. So when I have the feeling and then I see it happening, it's like, oh, that's why I had that feeling. So I would have some place to come from when the event happened. Hope I'm explaining that in a way that you can understand. So pay attention. Seriously, pay attention. Observe what's happening in your life, in your world. I've been having some, well, health issues because of all the stuff I'm going through. When something's been off, seriously majorly off for just short of 12 years it takes a lot of energy a lot of work and a lot of faith and knowing to attract the people and to do what they're doing for you and what they're telling you to do for you 
But if you're paying attention, you'll become aware. It's not an accident you bumped into a person you never met before. So I was feeling like I didn't look that great today. And I'm used to, this might sound a little vain, but I'm used to attracting guys who are 20 years younger than me. And that hasn't happened the last, it's been at least a week, maybe two weeks. So I'm in a gas station today, right? I'm putting gas in the car. I had just come from the four hours of testing and all that stuff. So I guess I look kind of like I do now. I wouldn't say I looked like I was intentionally planning to look attractive to somebody. So I pull up in the gas station. I couldn't get around so that my car had the pump on the correct side. And then I went round and round. So I wound up in the exact right spot. I get out of the car and a gentleman whose car <laughs> were facing head bad. So he, he looks at me, he's walking by and he says, you're a pretty lady. And I didn't know what he said. So I thought, I thought I didn't know what he said. So I didn't respond. So then he takes out the pump, puts it into his car. I take out the pump, put it into my car. And they happen to be on the same side. Isn't that interesting? His headlights were going this way. Mine were going that way. But we both had the place where you pump on the same side. And he comes up to me. And, and he was a very decent looking gentleman. He had a brand new, shiny, really nice, well-kept car. So he was making a good impression on me. Not that I was looking for that. And he says, can I ask you a question? And I'm just pumping the gas. And I says, sure. He says, are you free for lunch? Will you go to lunch with me? Now, that's the kind of thing that used to happen to me nonstop when I was in college. Every place I went, I wound up with a date. But that hasn't happened in a while. So I was feeling really good about myself. And I thought, okay, I guess I don't look as tired as I thought I was looking. When you look for good things in your life to happen, they always do. When you look for cruddy things to happen in your life, you'll find your life filled with cruddy things. You will always create what you expect to see in your life. And what you accept as possible for you. So why not accept and expect things to be in your favor? And here's a really, really big hint. How to get it? Smile. I've done so many talks on the power of the smile, how it changes your body chemistry, how it impacts others, how you can make it a habit. Yeah, I thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm Allie Bierman, and this is Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. Make sure that you take advantage of Audible always has an offer that you can get through my link, 30-day free trial, where you can choose the download of your choice and look around. And I've been recommending it every week and I'm going to continue to recommend it until you go out and get it because I listen to it over and over and over again. And man, my life is doing some pretty excellent stuff. Bad stuff's been happening, but it's certainly being reversed by the universe. That's Claude Bristol's book. The double volume is The Magic of Believing. And TNT, it rocks the earth. I'm going to do something really special for you. I don't do this often, maybe once a year. My most popular book is called What You Don't Know, You Don't Know, How Your Brain and Mind Keep You Stuck. It's a digital book. It was actually the first book that I put out online so more than a thousand people got it. It was on the bestsellers list. 15, that's one five 
months changed a lot of lives. And I'm giving you a very special price, not only for the digital book, but for the audio book. So that you're getting a package at a really, really special price. That link and everything else will be in the show notes. I invite you to join us and support the show. It takes a lot of work, a lot of effort. It also takes financing to put on a show every week. And this week is show 132. So when you support the show, I invite you to a live video call with me on Zoom. And I get to talk to you. I get to know who you are. Because the tricky thing about doing a podcast is, and I'm doing a video so you can see me. I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are. And in case you haven't noticed, I love to connect with people. That's part of why I was there four hours today, because I was making a lot of connections. In addition to all the testing that was happening with that one young woman. So by supporting the show, you're allowing me to continue to bring this to you every week. And sometimes I will bring in very, very special guests who I know by interviewing them are living in the same world, in the same paradigm that all these invisible forces are what's driving your life. Oh, remember that you can join our Facebook group where you can make a new friend, ask questions, get some extras because I put out extras every week. And you can also go to our show site where you can watch or listen to any episode. I'm very excited to be here with you every week. And again, I thank you for joining us. And remember to enjoy, that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment, every moment. Because your life doesn't have it out there. There's nothing outside of you that makes you happy or sad. There's nothing outside of you that causes you to hear or smell or taste or any of your senses. It all gets interpreted in here. In here, I look forward to seeing you next week.